Hello everybody, I'm Debbie and Hart Giordano of Master Brokers. Welcome to our weekly update where we give information about what's going on with the real estate market locally here uh, in Milpitas. And it is exciting times, I gotta tell you. The San Jose Mercury News just had an article on January 20th. It, the headlines read, Bay Area job market surges in December. Uh, nearly half of all the employment opportunities created in the state last month were in the nine county region, of course. That includes our county, Santa Clara County, and particularly uh, the Melpitas area. So um, we're seeing a tremendous amount of uptick of buyer demand um, and lower, the interest rates have steadied. Um, they've, they haven't gone up anymore this week or gone down. So they're, they're just kind of floating. Uh, we're looking at the feds to maybe dis, uh, reduce the discount rate, and, and that should happen maybe in the next few months. So we might see um, rates press downward a little bit more. Uh, we know the stock market's on fire. It is at its all-time high. So there's a lot of buyers out there with stock options uh, that work in high-tech companies that have plenty of down payment uh, to have. So I'll use an example. I'm closing an escrow today, the one on Shenandoah that I've talked about. I listed that at 1298888 I, that, that property, I got 35 offers and I brought in the buyer and we sold it for 1482000 and we're closing that today. So um, that's pretty exciting, I think, for our area. If you're thinking about selling, now is a great time to do that. So let's talk about what are some of the concerns that the sellers have and how to handle those uh, concerns. This was in the California Association of Realtors magazine. So I clipped this out to go over what are the services that the sellers appreciate the most. Number one, pricing a home competitively. And just as the example of the Shenandoah house, I priced it so we brought in a tremendous amount of buyers. Um, the weekend open house produced about 170 families through that home. And of course, uh, that resulted in all the offers that we had on the house. Marketing the home to potential buyers. Well, I go, um, when I load the property online through the uh, data link, it goes out to Zillow and Redfin, uh, Realtor.com, and all these other internet sites. And of course, the great photography and the way that I present the property um, really attracts buyer interest. And then I follow up on those leads or uh, we advertise the open house on those sites and then they uh, bring the buyers into the open houses. Selling the home within a specific time frame. Well, it's no secret that it probably doesn't take more than one weekend open house with this demand in this current market to be able to sell a property. But I tell a seller, once we've prepped it and got it on the market, we should be in contract within about two weeks um, after we've uh, gone out on the market. And that's been true to form at least for the last six to 12 months. And I suspect that'll continue on through the year. Uh, finding a buyer for the home. Uh, well, that's pretty easy in this market. They're, they're out there. Um, I attract them, like I said, through uh, internet searches. Um, I also do a 4,000 postcard mailing to the specific target area inviting uh, potential buyers into the open house or a lot of homeowners have friends family uh, that are interested in buying in that area and then that uh, puts out the message that we've got an open house and that brings them in uh, finding ways to fix up the home to sell it for more well you'll see this in the before and after shots i just listed 330 north abbott uh, avenue in milpitas and um, my videographer is filming this week the before shots on that so you can see how we're going to prep that home and get it ready. Uh, and then we'll do the after shot, the after videos. Uh, that particular home, we're doing all new paint in and out, uh, freshening that up. We're doing all new um, high-grade laminate flooring throughout. And then the bedrooms are going to be carpeted. So you'll see the difference that that's going to make when you look at those before and after videos. Helping with paperwork, inspections, and preparing for the settlement. Well, I've got a great transaction coordinator. I think she's one of the best in the business. And everything's done online with DocuSign. Um, we, uh, so many of my sellers, I don't even need to meet face to face. We do everything online. Uh, order the inspections, um, and then the disclosures are done. I usually help weigh into the seller how to fill out the disclosures. We can do that over the phone or online, 
and then uh, the transaction coordinator is able to prepare a dis disclosure link is what she does, which is all the inspections and the seller's disclosures. And that goes out to the potential buyer's agent to review and speak to their prospect, their buyer, about the home and the condition before they make an offer. And then last but not least, negotiating and dealing with buyers. You know, I've been in the business 45 years and I've seen a lot of markets come and go. Um, what I, I think one of the best um, assets that I have that I bring to the table for the seller is to be able to strongly negotiate for the benefit of that seller. I like as-is sales, so a lot of times the buyers accept the property uh, in as-is condition, even though maybe it needs repairs or has some termite issues, um, but um, we're looking for the buyer that's uh, buying that property as-is, uh, non-contingent on appraisal, uh, non-contingent on loan approval. Um, we call that a fully non-contingent contract and that's usually what we're seeking for the seller. So if you're interested in getting your home ready, let me know. Uh, give me a call at 408-945-8988 or DJ at AOL.com and I've got many open houses coming up and new properties that I'm listing in the next uh, two to four weeks. So we'll talk about those next week and share that with you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.